before I left the country that I was called into human resources and asked if I wanted someone to be with me until I left the theater. And how long was that after the assault? Almost seven weeks. Jamie Lee Jones, you've set up this foundation now, the Jamie Lee Foundation. First, how is it in your case it hasn't been resolved in two and a half years? You've already testified before Congress twice. Yes. And second, how many women have come to you, and what are you doing? Uh, how do you deal with the women who come to you? Okay, well, so far, uh, 40 women have come through my foundation. Um, we have become a watchdog foundation, so we are pushing for more stringent laws to um, make sure that these perpetrators um, have some type of law that they umbrella under because um, no man should be above the law. I'm actually going to the Senate hearing. I've been invited to submit um, written testimony. Um, in there, I've, I talk on behalf of the women that have come through the foundation. Lisa Smith isn't one that's come through the foundation, though I really feel for her. And I am so saddened because her story is so similar to mine. And, um, it really brought tears to my eyes a minute ago. But um, with these women also, we help them um, file for workman's comp, and um, we also find them medical care if they need it or therapy. Um, I've been through the whole process, um, filing for workman's comp and stuff. A lot of women come home, they don't even realize that they are able to file for the Longshore Harbor Workman's Compensation Act. And um, so I'm, I make them aware that they can do that. It is an option. Because they tell you when you're going home that um, you're not going to be paid, that, um, you know, that's that. It's, it's not the case. And it took me seven months for them to pay for my reconstructive surgery. <laughs> but um, part of that was probably because, um, you know, I didn't know how to, you know, do the entire process. So I think that the foundation helps women because I've been through everything. I can give them advice and advise them on um, different things that have failed in my case, that they don't, um, you know, we don't have to reinvent the wheel here on certain issues. Um, I have been in front of a grand jury hearing. There is a grand jury hearing convened out of the Florida district. Um, I went in January and gave a testimony. I still don't have the results for the criminal grand jury, but um, it is moving a little bit further along, so um, hopefully I'll get there someday. <laughs> Um, last words, Lisa, before you go public tomorrow, before you testify, as we wrap up this segment. I'm sorry, I didn't hear Your you. Your last thoughts. My last thoughts? <laughs> I, I honestly, at this point, have been so worn down and so disappointed and frightened that uh, I'm just starting to get a little bit angry now that a company that I gave so much to has done so very little for me and for anyone else in this situation. Uh, going public tomorrow is a little frightening for me. It will most likely prevent me from getting another contracting job uh, unless we can manage to change the public's view on sexual assault in the workplace. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us, uh, for coming forward. Uh, Lisa Smith, we will follow your testimony tomorrow in Congress. Uh, we hope to play it on Thursday. Jamie Lee Jones, thank you for joining us as well. And I want to thank Karen Hoopert uh, for being with us, who broke the story uh, for The Nation magazine at thenation.com. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, we'll be joined by author Raj Patel. His book, Stuffed and Starved, The Hidden Battle for the World Food System. Stay with us. Better.